you never know when a guy goes down and is hurt and now it's like hey like it's your time to go you gotta be ready for that you there's been the times where you have full control over what you're doing like you just said but as a coach you're constantly looking to replace the guy that's starting in that spot right right so you come in here as a freshman and you have these juniors these seniors who are playing the position that you might want to play right and you had mentioned uh, to us earlier before this that you had your buddy who was, you know, uh, playing second base at the time, and then you guys ended up flip flopping later down the line. How does somebody, besides just hard work, you know, grinding, yeah. going through the process of it, what makes them the ideal coachable kid for a coach to be like, I believe that this kid can take this spot from a junior, and I'm going to give him the shot? Right. Adjustability and adaptability, being able to adjust to your environment and adapt to what's being thrown at you. Also being open to questions, um, being obviously respectful to your coach, taking what they're saying and applying it. If it doesn't work, then you try something else. If it works, then you get after it. Also for me, a big thing was Houston Morrill was the shortstop. He was there for four years, one of my very, very, very good friends. And I really looked up to him a lot when I was a freshman last year. And so I would ask Houston questions every single day. Like, where are the field taking ground balls doing off the fungos? And I'm like, hey, Houston, what do you got on this? Like, tell me something about this. Like, mm -hmm. Asking questions, asking the guys who have been there before you, have done it, and are do currently doing it. And so being open to learning new things, whether it works or not, but being a coachable kid for me means, yes, sir, I'm going to try it. If it works out, sweet. If it doesn't work out, coaches didn't work out for me. Let's try something else. So being able to adapt as well, it's being able to then throw something at you and, and you try it. And then, like I said, if it working or not working and then adjusting to your environment, you know, you never know when a guy goes down and is hurt. And now it's like, hey, like it's your time to go. You got to be ready for that. You know, you got to be ready to get your name called on if someone gets sick or someone gets a fastball off the hand in the middle of the game. And now he's out of the game and you're, you get thrown in, the, you get thrown in the pit and, you're, and you got to go fend with the wolves. And so being ready when your name is called on it, being able to adapt to that moment and adjust to the circumstances that you're put under.